Good afternoon, everyone. This is Deaconess Elizabeth, and it is Friday, February the 26th. And I'm here again for our daily devotions, and I believe uh, we left off in John chapter 8. Uh, our reading today is going to begin at the 39th verse, so if you'd like to follow along, we turn there now. They answered him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said to him, said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works Abraham did. But now you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. This is not what Abraham did. You are doing the works of your father. You are doing the works your father did. They said to him, We were not born of sexual immorality. We have one father, even God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God, and I am here. I came not of my own accord, but he sent me. Why do you not understand what I say? It is because you cannot bear to hear my word. You are of your father the devil, and your will is to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, and does not stand in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of his own character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. But because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Which one of you convicts me of sin? If I tell the truth, why do you not believe me? Whoever is of God hears the words of God. The reason why you do not hear them is that you are not of God. The Jews answered him, Are we not right in saying that you are a Samaritan and have a demon? Jesus answered, I do not have a demon, but I honor my father and you dishonor me. Yet I do not seek my own glory. There is one who seeks it. He is the judge. Truly, truly, I say to you, if anyone keeps my word, he will, he will never see death. The Jews said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. Abraham died, as did the prophets. Yet you say, if anyone keeps my word, he will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who died? And the prophets died. Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my father who glorifies me of whom you say he is our God. But you have not known him. I know him. If I were to say that I do not know him, I would be a liar like you. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, Are you not yet fifty years old, and have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. Oh boy. So, um, the Jews did not like what Jesus had to say at all. Um, they, they were taking him, they, they were taking offense at everything that Jesus was saying regarding Abraham, and they just, they were not understanding. Um, they, they, they clung to their assurance that they were children of Abraham and uh, Jesus calls them right out and says, you're not acting like Abraham's children. Um, you're acting like um, your sinful fathers. You're acting like the devil, your, he, he, who he says is their father, because they are, are liars and they're not willing to listen to the truth. Uh, he continues that by saying, Jesus continues by saying that anyone who keeps his word will never see death. And this is, this is really what captures their attention. Uh, because they, they know that Jesus has already been talking about Abraham, and they said, okay, well, even our father Abraham died, and so did the prophets. So how, are you, how can you say that anyone who believes your words is not going to see death? Um, so they see that, they believe that Jesus seems to be putting himself above Abraham and the prophets, and they don't like that one bit. Um, but then Jesus continues by going along, uh, saying that even Abraham, Abraham rejoiced in knowing God's plan of salvation. Um, but Abraham knew that this day would come, that the Savior would come, and that um, and Jesus is there before the Jews' eyes, and he is the Savior, and yet they do not see this. And then he says, before Abraham was, I am. So um, Jesus ha has been was around before Abraham, and the Jews cannot wrap their, their minds around this, and um, 
that was the last straw. They, they could no longer listen to Jesus, and they picked up stones to throw at him. Um, but it was not yet time for um, Jesus to die, and so Jesus made it out of the temple. All right, so our, our story, or our, our hymn, our hymn today is Hymn 543, What Wondrous Love Is This? And we'll do verses 1 and 3. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul?